and now friends in examination uh, these sort of problems are at where you where you have to find out the value of n right here npr that is uh, permutation is given right it's simple formula based problem so i won't be spending much time on this uh, we will go for the conceptual problem i just solve one problem for you right now npr is what it's n factorial by n minus 4 factorial right n factorial by n minus 4 factorial is given as 360 right now n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 into n minus 4 factorial by n minus 4 factorial is 360 right now n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 is 360 so these are four consecutive integers positive integers i must say and their product is 360 so instead of solving uh, this equation this biquadratic equation you just go for hit and trial and get the value of n right now how do we do that see to get 0 over here we want at least one number to be 5 right because uh, if we do not get 5 and 2 combination we, may, we won't be getting 0 over here right so uh, I start with suppose 5 so it's 5 4 3 and 2 so for, that will be 120 only so uh, won't be getting 360 as a product now suppose I take n as 6 so it is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 so 6 5s are uh, 30 into 4 120 into 3 360 right that means n is 6 simply you can solve right so this is what uh, the solution of this problem and uh, this is just usage of the formula so i won't be spending much time on this now let's go on the conceptual problems Now let's take the problems one by one. So gradually the concept of permutation, combination and principle of counting will be cleared in your mind. Further, don't uh, make any sort of discrimination among these terms, right? Just apply simple mathematical common sense, right? And you'll be able to do this problem, right? Now four books, one each in chemistry, physics, biology and mathematics are to be arranged in a shelf. In how many ways this can be done? right now if you start thinking it is a problem of permutation or combination or a simple arrangement you won't be able to do it because it will be really time consuming and confusing right you straightforward do it right see the, the chemistry physics biology and mathematics four books are there you have four places right so for uh, first you have four choices for the second book three and then two and then one so it's what four into three into two into one so it's 24 ways are there to do this right now if you think whether i have applied principle of counting over here or permutation or combination so i would say that i have applied all the three i can do this problem by any of this right here i have just done it by principle of counting that for the first book i have four choices for the second book i have three choices and for the third book i have two choices and then one right now if I have to do this problem using combination, what will be the strategy? Just listen to me carefully. See, I have four books, right? And four books have to be arranged at four places. So I have to choose all the four books for four places. So it's 4C4 only, right? If there are six books and I have to choose four, then it will be 6C4. But here, four books are then and I have to choose all the four. So it will be 4C4. Now I have selected this four books and i have to arrange these four books so the selected objects can be arranged in four factorial ways right so what i'll be getting 4c4 is nothing but one so one into four factorial that is four into three into two into one that is still 24. so it doesn't matter which method you have adopted to solve the problem either counting method or permutation or combination right simply uh, you have to solve the problem right let's take one more example now this question in how many ways three different rings can be worn in four fingers with at most one in each finger now further you cannot say which problem is this permutation combination or counting just do it right see so you have three rings and four fingers right and we have to wear only 
one ring in each finger right so first of all out of these four fingers we need to select the three fingers so which three fingers uh, we will use to wear these rings so four from four fingers i am selecting three fingers so it's four c three now till here i have done the selection right any three fingers of right maybe these three maybe these three maybe these three whatever the three fingers right now after selection of the three fingers because the rings are different i i can wear the different uh, arrangement also right suppose the rings are of gold silver and maybe diamond right and so i can wear gold silver and diamond gold diamond and silver diamond silver and gold and various arrangements are possible right now what are these arrangements i have selected three uh, three fingers and the three rings can be arranged in these fingers in three factorial ways right so till here i have done the selection then after selection of the three fingers i arranged the three rings in three factorial manner right so it is selection and then arrangement so if we wish to use the term permutation this is what the permutation is right and if we don't want to use that that's perfectly all right because we have done the selection and we have done the arrangement manually right so 4c3 into 3 factorial we have to calculate right so what 4c3 is it's 4 factorial by 3 factorial into 1 factorial and into this 3 factorial so it's 4 factorial only so it's 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 24 ways are there to make this arrangement that is first of all to select three uh, fingers in which the rings to be worn and then the three rings to be arranged in the this three fingers right so in all 24 ways are there right i'm sure you are clear uh, friends uh, in this session i'll be taking this much only in the next session we'll be taking more problems based on permutation combination and uh, let's see what happens bye bye